These entertainment legends may no longer be with us, but each has left their mark on the world. From a beloved sitcom star to a former first lady, here are the stars we've lost in 2023. Annie Wershing, who starred in 24, Marvel's Runaways and Bosch, died of cancer in Los Angeles on January 29th. The actor, who was diagnosed in 2020, was 45 at the time of her death. Originally from St. Louis, Missouri, Wershing's big break came after she starred in Star Trek Enterprise. She later had recurring roles on television hits like The Rookie and went on to star in the second season of Star Trek Picard as the Borg Queen following her cancer diagnosis. You're not here so I can kill you, John. You're here to murder me. Wershing was also famous for voicing the character of Tess in the popular video game The Last of Us. The game's creator, Neil Druckmann, took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to share his sentiments. We just lost a beautiful artist and human being. My heart is shattered. Thoughts are with her loved ones. Wershing is survived by her husband, actor and comedian Stephen Full, and their three sons. Full issued a statement honoring his late wife, writing, There is a cavernous hole in the soul of this family today, but she left us the tools to fill it. She found wonder in the simplest moment. She didn't require music to dance. She taught us not to wait for adventure to find you. Go find it, it's everywhere, and find it we shall. Soap star Billy Miller, who appeared in All My Children, The Young and the Restless, and General Hospital, died in Austin, Texas on September 15th. The daytime Emmy winner died just two days before his 44th birthday. Born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Miller's big break occurred in 2007 when he was cast in All My Children. His most notable role was Billy Abbott in y &R. Miller's trademark smile, charisma, and emotional connection with the audience earned him five Daytime Emmy nominations and three wins for his work in the role. In 2014, Miller left y &R to return to his roots at ABC, this time joining General Hospital in a mystery role. It's great. It's not my first rodeo. Yeah. Uh, I, I've done All My Children and then Young and the Restless, and this is a very big one. What began as Jake Doe eventually morphed into Jason Morgan, previously played by Steve Burton. Miller played Jason until 2017, when Burton returned to the role, after which Miller portrayed Jason's twin, Drew Kane. Miller, who had been struggling with his mental health, died by suicide likely related to bipolar depression. Elizabeth Hendrickson, who played Miller's love interest on y &R, posted on Instagram, I hope you know that we are all here now texting each other, sending pictures and sharing memories of how f***ing awesome you were. This hole in my heart will never be filled. Good night, sweet Billy. Sir Michael Gambon died at the age of 82 from pneumonia. Gambon acted in a multitude of theatre, film and TV projects over his career, including a small part in the first ever production at National Theatre Company, Hamlet, directed by Laurence Olivier. His most recognisable work is likely his performance as Albus Dumbledore in the majority of the Harry Potter movies, a role Gambon took on beginning with the third instalment, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, after the death of the first Dumbledore, Richard Harris. Gambon won many acting awards and was knighted in 1998 for his work in the industry. Lisa Marie Presley, the daughter of music legend Elvis Presley, was only nine years old when her father died. She grew up to be a talented musician in her own right. But on January 12th, Priscilla Presley, Lisa Marie's mum, took to X to share that her daughter had gone into cardiac arrest. Hours later, the world received the tragic news of Lisa Marie's death at the age of 54. In a statement to the Associated Press, Priscilla Presley said, It is with a heavy heart that I must share the devastating news that my beautiful daughter Lisa Marie has left us. She was the most passionate, strong and loving woman I have ever known. Lisa Marie left behind three children, daughter Riley, whom she shared with her first husband, Danny Keogh, and twin daughters, Harper and Finley, whom she shared with ex-husband, Michael Lockwood. She had a son, Benjamin Keogh, who died by suicide in 2020, leaving Lisa Marie heartbroken. Friends star Matthew Perry was found dead at his home on Saturday, October 28, 2023, following an apparent drowning incident. According to TMZ, the actor was found unresponsive in a hot tub, with no signs of foul play or drugs at the scene. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner was unable to determine the cause of death during the initial autopsy, pending further investigation. Perry rose to fame as the sarcastic Chandler Bing in the iconic 90s sitcom, but his talent extended to various other projects. I got her machine. Her answer machine? No, interestingly enough, her leaf blower picked up. <laughs> He starred in the late 80s series Boys Will Be Boys, as well as movies like Fool Rush In and The Whole Nine Yards. But Friends remains Perry's biggest contribution to the world of entertainment. Perry wrote a memoir, Friends, Lovers and The Big Terrible Thing, in which he delved into his battle with alcohol and drug addiction. At the time of his death, Perry was just 54 years old. King Constantine II, Greece's last king, died at a private hospital in Athens on January 10th. He was 82. Constantine left behind his wife, the former Princess Anne Marie of Denmark, and five children, Alexia, Pavlos, Nikolaus, Theodora, and Philippos. King Constantine was Prince William's godfather and the late Prince Philip's nephew. 
He ascended to the throne at 23 years old and was an Olympic gold medalist in sailing before becoming king. His reign lasted less than a decade and covered the most challenging political times in Greece's history. In 1967, a military coup forced Constantine into exile. In 1973, the Greek monarchy was abolished by the military and upheld by a public referendum. While the king accepted the end of his reign, he continued to call himself King of Greece. Lisa Loring, the first actor to play Wednesday Adams in the original Adams Family sitcom, died on Saturday, January 28th as a result of complications from a stroke caused by high blood pressure. Loring was born in the Marshall Islands on February 16, 1958, and moved to Los Angeles with her mother when her parents divorced. She started modeling when she was three years old and landed her first role in 1964 on an episode of the NBC medical drama Dr. Kildare. That same year, she won the role of Wednesday, which she played for two seasons. In addition to her iconic performance as Wednesday, Loring also appeared on a variety of TV shows, including Fantasy Island and As the World Turns. Actor Cindy Williams died at age 75 on January 25th following a brief illness. Born in Los Angeles in 1947, Williams' career took off when she played Laurie Henderson in George Lucas's 1973 film American Graffiti. The role earned her a BAFTA nomination for Best Supporting Actress. In 1975, Williams was cast in the sitcom Happy Days. Nice to meet you, Richie. My pleasure. But she was best known for playing Shirley in the Happy Days spin-off Laverne and Shirley from 1976 to 1983. In 1982, Williams married singer Bill Hudson, and the two went on to have two children, Zach and Emily Hudson, before divorcing in 2000. Actor and film director Ron Howard tweeted a touching tribute to Williams, writing, Her unpretentious intelligence, talent, wit, and humanity impacted every character she created and person she worked with. We were paired as actors on six different projects. Lucky me. R.I.P. Cindy. Model and actor Raquel Welch, who got her big break after starring in the hit 1966 films Fantastic Voyage and One Million Years BC, died on February 13th at the age of 82 following a brief illness. Born in Chicago in 1940, Welch's good looks made her a Hollywood sex symbol, with Playboy ranking her third on its sexiest stars of the 20th century list, after Marilyn Monroe and Jane Mansfield. However, Welch's sex appeal never overshadowed her acting ability, and she appeared in over two dozen films. In 1975, Welch earned a Golden Globe as Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy for her performance in the 1973 adaptation of The Three Musketeers. In 2011, Welch returned to the screen to star alongside Reese Witherspoon in Legally Blonde. Witherspoon took to X to honor her former co-star, writing, So sad to hear about Raquel Welch's passing. She was elegant, professional, and glamorous beyond belief. Simply stunning. May all her angels carry her home. Welch is survived by her son, Damon Welch, and daughter, Tani Welch. Tom Sizemore, the actor known for playing Horvath in Saving Private Ryan and McKnight in Black Hawk Down, died at the age of 61. According to TMZ, the actor had been on life support following a brain aneurysm on February 18th. His family removed him from life support on March 3rd. Sizemore had a long and illustrious career, which included Pearl Harbor, Devil in a Blue Dress, and Heat. In 2007, he appeared in a six-part reality series called Shooting Sizemore about his personal struggle with drug addiction, along with an assault conviction. As he once wrote in a letter to a judge, I have permitted my personal demons to take over my life. British actor Paul Grant, known for his roles in the film Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi, and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, died on March 20th, 2023. He was 56. Grant was found collapsed outside a London train station. He was treated at the scene and transported to a hospital, but didn't recover. The four-foot-four actor had spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia congenita, a rare genetic form of dwarfism. He played an Ewok in the Star Wars franchise and one of the goblins at Gringotts, the Wizard's Bank in the Harry Potter series. Grant also worked with David Bowie on the cult classic Labyrinth and with Ron Howard on his film Willow. He survived by his daughters, his son, his grandchildren, and his girlfriend, Maria Dwyer, who told the son, Paul was the love of my life. Life is never going to be the same without him. Veteran actor Michael Lerner, known for roles in films like Barton Fink, Elf and Godzilla, died in April 2023 at 81. His nephew, actor Sam Lerner, posted on Instagram, Everyone that knows him knows how insane he was, in the best way. I'm so lucky I got to spend so much time with him, and we're all lucky we can continue to watch his work for the rest of time. R.I.P. Michael, enjoy your unlimited Cuban cigars, comfy chairs, and endless movie marathon. Lerner had over 180 credits to his name at the time of his death, though his portrayal of movie studio exec Jack Lipnick in Barton Fink was perhaps his most noteworthy, earning him a Best Supporting Actor Oscar nomination. Speaking to the New York Times, Lerner once said, I would love people to know that I'm a chameleon, that I can play anything. 
Broadway and soap opera star Elizabeth Hubbard died from cancer on April 8, 2023, aged 89. The veteran actor was most noted for her roles in the long-running soap operas The Doctors and As the World Turns. So that all the while that I was dreaming and thinking about having sex with my new husband, my new husband was thinking about having sex with my grandson. Between 1974 to 2016, Hubbard received 11 Daytime Emmy nominations, winning twice. Eight of the nominations were for playing Lucinda in As the World Turns, about which she told TV Guide, she could lie, break the law, she didn't have to be good, and she always had that checkbook ready. On April 22, 2023, Australian comedian Barry Humphreys died in Sydney at the age of 89, following complications from surgery. Humphreys was better known as Dame Edna Everidge, his drag persona. He was also known for his lecherous comic character, Sir Les Patterson. Humphreys told The Guardian, I'm very careful myself about what I might say. Edna and Sir Les, on the other hand, can point to the nudity of the emperor. But you know, we've got more culture than a penicillin factory in Australia. <laughs> in 2000, Humphreys won a special Tony Award for his stage performances. In April 2023, Dancing with the Stars fans were shocked to learn former judge Len Goodman had died due to bone cancer. He was 78. The beloved veteran ballroom dancer, who was also a judge on British counterpart Strictly Come Dancing, was known for his warm personality, distinctive catchphrases, and his enthusiastic delivery. Goodman, who'd been associated with Dancing with the Stars since 2005, retired from the show in 2022. Singer and civil rights activist Harry Belafonte died in April 2023 from congestive heart failure. He was 96. Belafonte rose to fame with his distinctive folk music in the 1950s, breaking barriers during a time of segregation in the United States. According to the New York Times, he was not the first black entertainer to transcend racial boundaries, but for a while no one in music, black or white, was bigger. I've always been opposed to injustice, uh, having been a victim of it. I've always been for women's rights. Belafonte was at the forefront of the civil rights movement and often bailed demonstrators, including the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., out of jail. He supported Dr. King's family with his own money after King's assassination in 1968. After Belafonte's death, King's daughter, Bernice King, tweeted, When I was a child, Harry Belafonte showed up for my family in very compassionate ways. In fact, he paid for the babysitter for me and my siblings. Television personality Jerry Springer died on April 27, 2023 from pancreatic cancer. The Jerry Springer show was a rating sensation in the 90s and remained on the air until 2018. Interestingly, Springer's political career was as bold and controversial as his television career. In 1982, his campaign to become the governor of Ohio was the talk of the town for its controversial advertisement in which Springer admitted to paying a sex worker for her services. Some nine years ago, I spent time with a woman I shouldn't have, and I paid her with a check. In an interview with the New York Times, Springer explained, This commercial should be proof. I'm not afraid, even of the truth, and even if it hurts. Legendary Canadian singer-songwriter Gordon Lightfoot died of an aortic aneurysm at the age of 84 on May 1, 2023. Lightfoot became popular in the 1960s with songs like Early Morning Rain. By 1971, one of his songs, If You Could Read My Mind, was a huge hit. His fan base included famous names like Harry Belafonte and Bob Dylan, who once said, I can't think of any Gordon Lightfoot song I don't like. Every time I hear a song of his, it's like I wish it would last forever. Following Lightfoot's death, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau posted on X, Gordon Lightfoot captured our country's spirit in his music, and in doing so, he helped shape Canada's soundscape. Irish actor Ray Stevenson, notable for his work in Punisher, Warzone, and in Marvel's Thor movies, died on May 21, 2023, at the age of 58 from undetermined causes. Stevenson became well known for playing the antagonist in RRR and made guest appearances in many television shows, including Dexter, The Walking Dead, and Vikings. Either you are unkillable or way overdue. The news of his death came as a shock to many as he was slated to star in the action thriller 1242 Gateway to the West, a film based on the Mongol warrior Genghis Khan. Music icon Tina Turner died on May 24, 2023, at her home near Zurich, Switzerland, from natural causes. Turner was 83 years old. Dubbed the original Queen of Rock and Roll, Turner had a record-breaking career that spanned over five decades across multiple genres. She rose to fame alongside ex-husband Ike Turner in the 1960s, then went on to have a flourishing solo career that landed her in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2021. Known for hits such as Proud Mary, What's Love Got To Do With It, and River Deep Mountain High, Turner was a recipient of eight Grammy Awards over the years. Actor Treat Williams died as a result of a motorcycle accident on June 12, 2023. Williams's big break came with the role of Berger in the 1979 musical film Hair. 
Over the course of his career, he appeared in Once Upon a Time in America, Smooth Talk, Everwood, and, most recently, Chesapeake Shores and Blue Bloods. Williams' agent, Barry McPherson, told People he was an actor's actor. Filmmakers loved him. He's been the heart of Hollywood since the late 1970s. On July 6th, actor Jeffrey Carlson passed away from heart-related issues at age 48. Carlson was a beloved player in the Broadway community, as well as a groundbreaking star of TV and film. He was best known for playing All My Children's Zoe, a transgender character who made history as the show followed her transition back in 2006. That little princess went into hiding and pretended to be that little boy. While Carlson himself wasn't transgender, his sincere depiction of a person undergoing the transition process was embraced by many members of the trans community during a time where there was very little representation. Iconic Irish singer Sinead O'Connor died from undisclosed causes at 56 years old on July 26, 2023. O'Connor's cover of Prince's Nothing Compares to You shot her to global stardom in the 90s, but she faced public backlash a couple of years later after an SNL appearance, in which she protested child sexual abuse in the Catholic Church by tearing up a photo of Pope John Paul II. Fight the real enemy! Over the course of her celebrated career, O'Connor frequently changed religions and personas. She became a Latin Tridentine priest, a notable breakaway from the Catholic Church in 1999, and changed her name to Mother Bernadette Mary. In 2017, she became Magda David. The singer converted to Islam in 2018 and changed her name again to Shahada David, eventually settling on Shahada Sadakat while continuing to perform as Sinead O'Connor. The world lost the joyful and silly actor Paul Rubens on July 30th at the age of 70 after a lengthy cancer battle. Rubens was most famous for his character Pee Wee Herman of Pee Wee's Playhouse, which Rubens created with absurdist whimsy and ridiculous humor that charmed both kids and families. There's way too much chocolate in my ice cream soup! My snack is ruined! Despite Rubens' run-ins with the law, his career moved forward. He played Penguin's father in Batman Returns and had roles in popular television shows such as Gotham, 30 Rock, and The Blacklist. After his death, a message from Rubens was posted on his Instagram reading, Please accept my apology for not going public with what I've been facing the last six years. I have always felt a huge amount of love and respect from my friends, fans, and supporters. I have loved you all so much and enjoyed making art for you. On July 31st, Hollywood lost Angus Cloud, aged 25, to an accidental drug overdose. Cloud was known for his role as vulnerable drug dealer Fez in the hit HBO series Euphoria. Cloud appeared in music videos for big-name stars including Becky G, Carol G, and Juice World. He remained down-to-earth, telling Interview magazine, I just want to have regular interactions with people. I don't want to be treated special. Actor Ron Cephas Jones appeared in Luke Cage and Mr. Robot, passed away at age 66 from pulmonary disease. In addition to his on-screen work, Jones was a prolific theatre actor. He won two Emmy Awards for his performance as William Hill in This Is Us. Jones had a double lung transplant in 2020, telling the New York Times, My whole life has been the stage. The idea of not performing again seemed worse to me than death. After the procedure, the actor had to learn how to walk and eat on his own again. He credited his desire to work again for his quick recovery. Bob Barker, the lovable, longtime host of The Price is Right, died of natural causes on Saturday, August 26th. He was 99. Barker had been a staple in American pop culture since his first game show hosting gig on Truth or Consequences from 1956 to 1975. Barker began hosting The Price is Right in 1972 and taped over 5,000 episodes of the show before retiring in 2007, telling Cleveland 19 News, better to leave a year too soon than a year too late. The world lost a legend on September 1st. Grammy nominee Jimmy Buffett was considered the grandfather of the tropical rock genre. His beach bum songs, such as Margaritaville, have stood the test of time since the 1970s, inaugurating generations of parrot heads. It's basic, pure escapism from the humdrum and the dull routine of normal day life. Buffett's talents extended beyond creating music. He wrote several sea-inspired adventure novels as well as an autobiography. And his hit song Margaritaville inspired a chain of successful restaurants, gift shops and hotels. Buffett played his final full gig at San Diego's Snapdragon Stadium on May 6, 2023. Actor Suzanne Somers, who most famously starred in the popular sitcom Three's Company, passed away Sunday, October 15th, one day before her 77th birthday. Summers fought cancer for over 20 years and addressed her most recent setback on Instagram in July, posting, As you know, I had breast cancer two decades ago, and every now and then it pops up again, and I continue to bat it down. I know how to put on my battle gear, and I'm a fighter. 
Actor Tyler Christopher died on October 31, 2023. In an Instagram post, former colleague Maurice Bernard said that Christopher's death occurred as a result of, quote, a cardiac event in his San Diego apartment. Christopher played Nicholas Cassidane on General Hospital for 20 years and more than 1,150 episodes. In 2016, he won an Emmy for his performance. Christopher had a soft spot for Nicholas because the role was his first acting gig and he developed the character from the beginning. In addition, Christopher also spent 18 years on Days of Our Lives, where he played Stefan Demera. When he died, Christopher was less than two weeks from his 51st birthday. In November 2022, the actor remarked that his life between the ages of 40 and 50 had been tumultuous. In addition to high points like becoming a parent for a second time and a productive acting career, Christopher also dealt with addiction and a traumatic brain injury. According to Bernard, Tyler was an advocate for better mental health and substance use treatment who openly spoke about his struggles with bipolar depression and alcohol. He was also candid about the difficulties of being under his sister's guardianship. On November 19, 2023, Rosalind Carter, former First Lady of the United States and wife to former President Jimmy Carter, passed away at 96 in the couple's home in Plains, Georgia. The news of her passing came after the Carter Center shared her dementia diagnosis in May. Her husband of 77 years, Jimmy, shared a heartfelt message via the Carter Center, writing, Rosalind was my equal partner in everything I ever accomplished. She gave me wise guidance and encouragement when I needed it. As long as Rosalind was in the world, I always knew somebody loved and supported me. When Jimmy became became president in 1977, open discussions about mental health issues were considered taboo, but that didn't stop Rosalind from advocating for meaningful policy changes. I want my mental health work to, to carry on, even after there is no more stigma, which I'm not sure will come in my lifetime. In 1985, she started the Rosalind Carter Symposium on Mental Health Policy for Professionals working to foster an open discussion about mental health issues and how the government could provide cost-effective medical care to those suffering. Throughout Jimmy's political career and afterward, the beloved couple continued to form committees and task forces to champion better mental health care. Other celebrities who passed in 2023. Carol Cook, Tatiana Petitz, Gunter Nezada, Paul Catamol, Jacqueline Zeman, Gerald Castillo, Anna Shea, Nicholas Costa, Andrea Evans, Arlene Sorkin. If you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, help is available. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.